hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing my official get to know me um yeah what do i do let's just jump right into the video so you can know me okay okay anyways what's my full name my full name is obade ruth oluwashio what does my name mean oluwashio means thank god <laughs> physically thank god okay um where am i from i'm from nigeria where was i born i was born in lagos state nigeria and that was where i grew up what are my best characteristics i'm small no, I <laughs> and i talk a lot and at the same time i can be so quiet you can you won't know i'm in the room um i'm friendly i'm nice i'm smart can i say that about myself or someone else say it it doesn't matter anyways what are your favorite things about yourself i don't know i have a lot because <laughs> like i said before my best characteristics are kind of like my favorite things about myself yeah oh also one of the best characteristics i've been told by a lot of people that i am savage oh i can be savage i can say something and i give it right back to you yeah so, deal with it i mean not in a bad way but like you know <laughs> which of your parents are you closest to my mom uh, which of your parents are you more like? Also my mom. Cause she's nice, you know. She's friendly. My dad is friendly too, but like and he's nice, but I just feel like I'm closer to my mom. You know, mommy daughter thing. What's my biggest fear? Death. <laughs> and failure. Yeah, those two. Death and failure. Those are my biggest fear. What's my eye color? Brown. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? YouTube. Thanks. I don't know. I don't feel the courage to do YouTube, but like I just push myself to do it and just just try something new. Push yourself forward. You can achieve it, and you can do it. What's my favorite color? Black. Black lovers. Put your name in the description box. Just put a sign down below. Let me know what your favorite color is. My favorite um food is fried rice. I can have fried rice without chicken, without egg, without fish, without meat, without whatever. Just give me fried rice. It doesn't matter what comes after it. <laughs> fried rice is enough for me. My favorite ice cream, um, ice cream flavor is chocolate. My favorite physical activity is dance. <laughs> Dancing. Yup. My favorite quote is, I don't know who said this, but I've always had this in my head for quite a while now, probably six to seven years. Um, it says, do not, un do not underestimate yourself by comparing yourself to others to our differences that makes us unique and beautiful so i'm this kind of person i try to look down on myself because of my stature and then i remember the quote and i'm like you know what everyone looks beautiful the way they're created by god so don't look down on yourself baby i mean you have some features some other people are trying to like like get or be like they're trying to be like you in some aspects so don't try to look down on yourself and degrade yourself because of what you think my favorite time of the day do i have one no no i because i won't say morning because i don't like waking up early and i won't say afternoon because i have nowhere to go and i won't say at night because of course, I gotta be home at night. And 
sometimes I find it hard to sleep, so I won't say 90 is my favorite time of the day, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> what was my favorite subject in high school? My two favorite subjects in high school were um, biology and math. So yeah, I'm really good at those two. It depends on what kind of math though. <laughs> I'm good at algebra. Yeah, mostly algebra. I'm good at mostly algebra. And geometry? Nah, not really. But biology? Biology. Biology. I'm really good at it. Am I scared of heights? Nope. Maybe. <laughs> but not really. Are you high maintenance? Nope. I'm not. And, uh, are you more likely to avoid conflicts or engage it head on? It depends. Like for example, one of my friends, she was trying to like say something about Nigerians, saying Nigerians are obese and stuff. Hell like that. No. At first, I didn't want to say anything, but then she kept on saying the same thing, and I was like, you know what? Um, first of all, do your research. Secondly we're in this school together we see a lot of nigerians and we see a lot of you guys i don't want to mention what country she's from but the fact is that you guys you guys are you guys look more obese and bigger than we the nigerians so what do you mean nigerians are obese do your research thank you but yeah if it, it, it depends on what's what's going on if it's something that makes sense and i need to talk sense to the person i i'm, I'm gonna talk and if it's something stupid i'm just gonna you know you can keep talking i ain't got time for no nonsense are you a good cook yes i would say for myself yes i mean yes i am i just don't cook a lot but like yes i'm a good cook i don't cook a lot but once i when i try to cook i take my time and i do everything so good but i'm not i don't like to be in the kitchen every day to cook no who's the first person you call when something exciting happens my boyfriend and who's the first person you call when something horrible happens my boyfriend <laughs> can you do a split no can you touch your nose with your tongue no can you whistle no can you dance yes do you remember your dreams sometimes most times do you sing in the shower um yes but like i play music from my phone then i sing along in the shower sometimes do you sleep with the lights on or off off please because <laughs> like i said i have a hard time sleeping at night i don't know during the day i feel sleepy and when it's night time there is no sleep so i need the less distraction as possible little distraction as possible turn off the lights no sound nothing before i can sleep do you have a lot of do you have a whole lot of a whole lot of acquaintances or just a few very close friends and why? I have a lot of acquaintances. Like a lot. And very close friends? They're less than five. Are they up to that? They're very less than five. And why is that? Because I don't know. I'm not this kind of like social freak or something i don't like to hang out a lot i mean i do but like not every day and i just don't talk about myself i don't talk about a lot of stuff but those special and close people we've been together for the longest they understand me and i understand them and we have a lot of things in common so yeah that's why but the rest i mean yeah they're there yeah. Do you have allergies? Yes, I do. To bug, to bug bites and to some grass. Because there was a time that we went for a cheerleading practice. I used to be a cheerleader. We went for a cheerleading practice at New York. Um, what's it called? It's it's a um. I forgot in the park. There's this um popular park at New York. I don't. I can't remember what it's called right now, but. I don't know we sat down and my body started getting itchy 
and my leg, everything was itchy. I, I couldn't feel myself until I got home. I had to go take a shower because my body was allergic to that grass. Do you have any birthmarks? Yes, I do. One behind my hair. I just realized when I was making my hair two days ago that I had a birthmark on my scalp here. I have one here. Here, right here, over here. There it is. Can you see it? There. And I have one behind my ear. I have one ear. And I think those are the ones I know about. Do I have pets? No. Do I have a best friend? Yes, I do have best friends. But like one original best friend and the rest comes like number two, number three. But the number one is my boyfriend. Who was my first friend in college? My first friend in college is not was because I just got to college and you know, we're friends. Her name is Yamalu. Hi Yamalu, in case you're watching this. <laughs> How far from your birthplace do you live right now? Very far. Because I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, and I'm in Texas, United States. How many countries have you been to? Um, technically, I've been to two countries, Nigeria and United States, but like if I calculate everything, every other countries, I've been to the airport, if that counts. I've been to um, Morocco, I've been to Dubai, and I've been to Paris so that should be five countries but without those i've been to two countries and i plan on traveling a lot how many pairs of shoes do you currently own a lot i had a whole shoe rack in indiana and at the bottom section i had to place shoes on like on top of each other and i had more shoes that couldn't fit on the shoe rack it's a lot how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? I was 14? No, I was 15. Right? Yeah, I was 15. Would you ever consider living abroad? Yes, I'm currently living abroad. So obviously. Have you ever suffered a fracture? Nope. And I'm this kind of rough person. I play like a boy because sometimes I act like a boy. But yeah, I know others guys boys plays those rough extreme plays and i never broke a bone have you ever dated two people at a time yes <laughs> anyways that's it for this video guys if you like this video please don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe clicking the red notification button and in the description in the comment section you can leave your questions your comments your favorite color interesting facts about you we could be friends, you know, just message me in the comment section or add me on Instagram and text me. We could be friends from there. But anyways, thanks. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.